Hi, uh, today we're going to talk about um, your hot tub tripping. So the GFI is uh, tripping, either you have a GFI inside at the main panel or you have uh, one outside near the hot tub. So first thing you're going to do is, uh, so every time you turn on that GFI and it, it just pops, or even if it holds on for a bit and then it pops, um, what you should do is don't keep on trying to turn it on like a light switch because you're just going to mess up that GFI and that uh, depends on where you live, what country. Um, a lot of those GFIs are expensive. I know in Canada here they're very expensive. I, th I think average is two, $299 Canadian for a GFI. Um, you're just causing issues. So um, there's other ways of doing it cheaper that's probably the most expensive thing unless you're going to replace a whole board um, so very quickly I'll show you um, or I'll tell you try to show you um, if your hot tub is tripping either right away so every time you turn it on I'll do it like maybe two three times and then that's it and then you're gonna to have to do these steps okay even if you turn it on stays on for 20 minutes or whatever and it it it, um, it pops off do these same steps okay so if your GFI is tripping um, so it's gonna trip off halfway make sure it's totally off so make sure it's all the power is off um, what you could do is first thing you can do is disconnect these this is your heater, okay? Normally it's a Phillips screw uh, back inside there. Um, sometimes they're, you have the heat tubes like this um, that are connected underneath, which is more of a pain. Or you have other uh, spa packs that they're just the board and then the the heat tube somewhere else so I got one right here so this this here would be somewhere else down the road here you know around the other side of the tub or whatever so same idea so I'm going to show you this so right here these connections uh, again these are um, uh, some of them are different so some of them have the the bolts on the top and then the brass parts are on the board all that are already there so for these type this type here you just disconnect the the bolts off you just take those right off pull these wires back make sure you're not touching anything um, turn the GFI back on now if the GFI stays on um, it's your uh, heating element inside so you gotta replace this heating element um, I'll do another video on uh, how to replace uh, um, an element um, this style or even one with the, the bolts same idea so you can uh, just so the tub stays on especially if it's in the winter time so if you manage to get this off you turn the GFI on and it stays on keep it on until maybe you can get a heater a um, little space heater underneath or you know you can call somebody in if you don't feel comfortable enough to uh, to change this element out which I'll do another video and I'll ch show you how to change out a uh, element uh, it's pretty cheap fast and cheap well it depends on which uh, spot pack you have uh, some of them are a little bit harder than others but uh, pretty much there's they're simple so um, now if you pull these off and it still trips so what you're gonna do next is keep these disconnected make sure you're not touching anything um, what you're gonna do next is uh, check to see if you on your um, on your spa pack see if you have an ozonator and normally on a lot of them normally it's the pink one normally um, if you have the black, if everything's all black and stuff, then usually on the side of the the, the spa packs, they'll, they'll say what it is, or you can just follow the wires back. So if you have an ozonator, um, unplug the ozonator. 
turn on the GFI, see if that works. Uh, if it, if you have this, those ain't are disconnected, um, and it's, it, it, um, you know, stays on, then it's your ozonator. Okay? So each step you do. So if you disconnect this, it trips. It's not the element. If you disconnect the ozonator, it trips. It's not the ozonator. So keep that uh, disconnected. So whatever one, each one you disconnect, if you run into where the GFI stays on, um, that's your problem. But normally it's uh, either the, the heating element, the ozonator, and uh, it, could, it could be a blower. If you have a blower, it could be the blower. But normally you take these steps where you, you do the heat tube first, the ozonator, maybe a stereo, disconnect the smaller stuff. Um, I would, the last thing I would do was the main pump because, because <laughs> you want every, you want, if it kicks, stays on, then the heater is going to kick in. So do these steps, um, even it, even do these steps and you could tell it even if it's a GFI. So if you disconnect this, the blower, the stereo, the ozonator, the, you know, second pump or whatever, you keep on going and you disconnect everything, even the, the light, even test the light, pull the light. If you unplug everything and it trips, then the last thing you can do is um, disconnect your uh, main power coming in. So if your main power is coming in, um, again, depends on what country you're from. In Canada, we have to use the, the neutral. So what you can do is disconnect, um, uh, try your, pull the red wire or, plug, or your black wire. And do one at a time. Try that. Um, now, if you disconnect all your wires, and when you disconnect it, make sure you either mred it off or or tape it off or or something, right? So you're not gonna, it's not gonna hit anything. So if you disconnect this, and nothing's, on, and it still keeps on tripping, it's your GFI. That's the best way of uh, of determining on exactly what it is. Um. So, I would uh, do all those steps if uh, your hot tub's tripping, um, and more than likely, that's what I can't think of anything right now that that would be something different. Um, but normally, you can pinpoint it exactly what it is. And each each one I do, I'll uh, I'll put more um, um, videos out there on. You know, changing your heat tube or your, you know, your ozonator, um, your blower, a lot of stuff you can do yourself. Uh, pumps, you know, it could be a capacitor, it could be a, you know, a switch, switch in the back. Um, a lot of places, you know, replace pumps, but I, I could do, the, I'll do videos on the basic stuff that you can do. Uh, very simple, inex very inexpensive. Um, so, Give me a thumbs up. I'm not the greatest uh, talker on the videos, so give me a thumbs up, and hopefully this helped out. Or you know, send me a you know, send me a message or something like that. Maybe I missed something, or or um, you know, maybe you found something else that maybe uh, that uh, that it tripped on your spa pack. Like it, there's a lot of spa packs out there. Uh, yeah, I know sometimes your top side on other uh, products, the top side would make the GFI trip. Um, but normally their uh, top side is a pretty low current, so, um, yeah. So give me a thumbs up. Hopefully you like it, um, and just watch my other videos, and, and hopefully all this stuff works out for you. So I'll put uh, another video out for changing um, um, your element, and then uh, we'll see what else we can uh, think of. If you guys can think of anything else you want to see or a video on, you know, pump seals or impellers or or even, you know, changing on a board. What's the best way of doing it? Um, changing on a pressure switch. Um, it, this stuff's very easy. Anybody can do it. Um, if you're, ha if you know, if you have some of the tools for it and kind of, don't be scared of electrical, you know, because the biggest thing is if, if you're that scared of electrical, even turn off that GFI, um, turn, off the, turn off the main one in the house. So if you have a two pole fifty outside, if you turn that off when you're working on it, 
you get it and then go inside and turn that two pole 50 off too um, if that makes you feel any better uh, but it's usually pretty simple stuff okay so give me a thumbs up hopefully this helped you out thanks